Hello, and welcome back to Lily's Viking Adventures. Today I have 10 Norse stories you've probably never heard of. It was written by Nevada Berg and is on the site North Wild Kitchen. I'll put the source website in the description. I encourage you to go to the site as it has links to each of the full stories there. Some are only available in Norwegian, but many also have English translations for my American listeners. Thank you for joining me. Your support and kindness has encouraged me to continue to make more videos. Please toss me a like if you're able. Let's get started. 10 Norwegian Tales to Read by the Fire The Boy with the Beer Keg In this tale, a boy requests and is given a keg with beer as payment for the work he does. He goes on his journey, but the keg becomes heavier and heavier, and he looks for someone to drink with to relieve him of the weight. Along the way, he greets, meets God, then Satan, and finally death. After rejecting to drink with the first two, he decides to drink with death, since death is neutral and fair, giving everyone the same thing. Death enjoys it so much that he blesses the boy with a keg that never empties and an ale that can heal the sick better than any doctor can. Number two, an evening at the neighbor's. One neighbor's yard, Tenement, was one of the most loved areas to gather and play. In this tale, we follow the narrator's story as he looks back on his time playing there and of the tales of Nisses, Trolls, Huldra, and other creatures that he and his friends are told about as they sit by the fire. Number three, Legends from the Mill. In this story, the narrator stops to fish but catches very little until a messenger boy passes by and advises his technique. As the evening turns cold, the two of them withdraw to the warmth of a nearby sawmill and begin conversing with the old man who works there. The narrator, after understanding the old man has some tales to tell, shares a story about the mill snarl. This leads to the others sharing their tales. The story ends with the final tale of how a group of witches turned themselves into cats and tried to burn down the sawmill. Number four, east of the sun and west of the moon. In this well-known tale, a white bear knocks on the door of a poor but large family. The bear asks the father for his prettiest and youngest daughter in return for riches. It takes a little persuasion, but eventually the daughter goes away with the bear to his enchanted castle. At night, he sheds his bear form to come to her bed as a man. The story continues as the bear is forced to turn to his wicked stepmother at her castle east of the sun and west of the moon to marry her hideous daughter, a troll princess. The youngest daughter heads on a quest to save the bear prince. Number five, mackerel trolling. In this story, the narrator remin reminisces about one of the trips he had taken to go mackerel trolling. He shares tales from his friend at sea, in particular the one about the three wives who were bored of their husbands and wished for their demise. Turns out they were witches disguised as ravens. It was the cabin boy who overheard them and was able to trick them so they could not carry out their deeds. Number six, the people from Salts and Saltsteinen. I was recommended this story by my friend who produce, produces Norwegian salt sea, sea salt from the area this story is based on. The story is found in a book called Men fra Havet by Odd M. Leon. In this tale, two lovers row out to Saltsteinen between Ona and Bjornsen, Bjornsen to start their lives together. Here, the life is harsh, and they must battle the elements as well as heartache as they lose each of their children to the sea. This is a fascinating tale, but not one with a happy ending. 
Number seven, Askeladden, who stole the troll's silver ducks. Askeladden is the archetypal folk hero of many tales. In this particular story, to impress and follow the king's orders, Askeladden takes the troll's seven silver ducks, his bed quilt with silver and gold squares in it, and his golden harp. Then he tricks the troll's daughter into giving him the knife with which he cuts her head off and feeds her to the troll, who thinks he is eating Askeladden. Number eight, why the sea is salt. A poor man begged from his brother on Christmas Eve, and so the brother promised him meat if he would do anything for him. The poor brother promised, and so the rich brother handed over the food and told him to go to hell. His travels led him to obtaining a hand mill that produces whatever is asked of it. As the poor brother gains wealth from it, others don't succeed. And in the end, we come to learn why the sea is salty. Number nine, the smith they dared not let into hell. In this short parable-like tale, we read the complicated interaction between mankind and spiritual beings. A blacksmith makes a bargain with the devil to become the greatest blacksmith on earth for a period of time. He encounters Christ and the apostles while boastful, is granted three wishes, and he chooses to use which he chooses to use to avenge himself on the devil. His actions toward both Christ and the devil may affect his chances in the afterlife, and so he travels to both heaven and hell. Number 10, The Gravedigger's Tales. Here the narrator seeks out to meet with Per Grave, grave Digger. He eventually finds him digging, digging a grave and proceeds to share various tales of witches. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you will check the description and go to the site where these full stories are available. There are links for each one at the website. Thank you for joining me again, and I hope you have a wonderful night. Please like, share, sub, comment, help out my channel. I greatly appreciate it.